And at this time, I believe Councilman McGovern. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I just have a, um, a revised order. Uh, the only addition is uh, the following sentence. Be it enacted by the Senate and House of Representatives in the general court assembled and by the authority of the same as follows. Uh, it's a procedural matter that, that um, the State House would require us to have that specific language in it. It wasn't in the original order, uh, so we're just adding that in. Everything else is the same. And, <clears throat> Mr. Manager, did you want to just take a brief moment to summarize this? Um, so I, uh, through you, Mr. Mayor. So this is uh, a home rule petition, which will allow certain land owned by the Cambridge Housing Authority or by a housing authority within the city of Cambridge, which really um, will enable it to be able to finance its capital improvements through the RAD program, and it makes it specific to Cambridge and the Cambridge Housing Authority, um, which our information is will be uh, the best way to go uh, as new legislation. Um, Council of Simmons. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So just so that I know through you, either to um, the city manager or to your uh, council and state representative to me, so this will go forward and then what happens? Do you have a, can you kind of walk us through this a little bit? Um, Certainly. Um, hopefully we will adopt this tonight, finalize action on this tonight, and we'll hand deliver it to the house clerk tomorrow morning who will then uh, refer it to a committee. Um, Almost likely it will be you know, revenue, and uh, the rules committee will accept it. And then uh, there will be, um, in all likelihood, a, a public hearing uh, from the revenue committee. And then from there, it has to um, then go to the uh, bills of the steering committee, and then to the bills in third reading, and then be um, adopted by the House and then sent to the Senate. So it's uh, a little time consuming. We're hoping to. Uh, uh, expedite it as quickly as possible with um, hopefully some suspensions as we go through the process because of the seriousness of this. So um, we're just hoping we can get this there tomorrow and then start the process. It does not need a roll call vote. We are out of session, full, no formal sessions as of Wednesday, um, and but this can be done in informal session. So I'm pretty confident that uh, we can expedite this pretty quickly. Uh, thank you, uh, Councilor Timmy. Through you, Mr. Mayor, to um, Mr. Rossi and to Mr. Russ. Russ. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Just, just uh, drop Mr. the O and Mr. add a U and you'll be okay. That's okay. Um, I'm just, I just wanted to confirm that you feel that this will not hold up the RAD process overall. And this, I guess what this does is it, it affects the entire CHA RAD process. Is that what we are to understand? Yes, Councillor, that's correct. Uh, we are able to go forward. Um, uh, we've made certain provisions uh, that our investors are uh, content with, if I could use that word, um, and uh, we would look forward uh, to having the pilot restored, but we are in a position where we would not be slowed down. Uh, you, your voice trailed off toward the end. We would not, this would not slow us down uh, at, at this point. Mm -hmm. It probably be more of an issue for us in later phases and could be an issue when um, uh, if it's not completed as we've discussed we would lose the ability to um, uh, leverage a significant amount of capital mm -hmm. around 23 million dollars is wow. at stake so that would be money that we'd be using uh, towards the end of our first phase and certainly in our second phase so I'm, I'm just pleased, Mr. Chair, if I may, that we, uh, through uh, Councilor McGovern and through our representative at the State House, that we're going to be able to, in our state delegation, be able to expedite this as much as possible. Um, let's continue to talk more often and more regularly so that we can catch these things before they blossom into larger problems. I mean, I, it's, it's wonderful that we have such a proactive and supportive state delegation so that something gets in front of them like this, they can move it right along. 
but it, you know, as the RAD process goes forward, we are all very supportive of what you're doing, Mr. Russ, of the Housing Authority and your Board of Directors. And so I look for any opportunity to continue to be collaborative with you and the CHA as you move this f how, uh, project forward, which will um, put premium, or, uh, I have to be careful about how I use my words, high quality housing available for low and moderate income households. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, Councilor Toomey. Mr. Mayor, if there's no other further comments, I'd like to move the adoption of this now. Okay. On adoption of the, of the revised order, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, the, the clerk is advising me that we should, the motion should be to accept the amendment first. So on accepting the amendment, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, no, and the amendment is accepted on the main motion as amended. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, no, and the uh, order is adopted. Move it, Chairman. Okay. Due to the, the sensitivity of this matter, I would ask my colleagues to indulge in the suspension of the rules yeah. for the purpose of uh, Reconsidering this and hoping the same one up of you. Okay, so the motion is to, uh, this is to get it over there tomorrow. The motion is on suspension of the rules for the purpose of moving reconsideration, hoping the same will not.